What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Manny, and welcome to the Stealth Bomber, okay? And what do I refer to as a Stealth Bomber? It's, of course, the Ao Chun with a new incinerator bombing run uh, that we have on it. It's flaming rockets that trigger a bomb effect, and, you know, it's, it's a bomber. And it has stealth, so it's a stealth bomber. What do you want? <laughs> so let's go and have a ton of fun here. We have overdrive rocking on this thing as well. So every time we fire from now on, we should be getting... Uh, insane damage output. Also, we're still rocking the drone intensified damage boost. So whenever I activate my healing module, I get another 115% additional damage. I'm not even joking. I counted the number. 115% more damage when I activate the healing module right now uh, with these revitalizing intensifiers, as they are called, on the perfect drone setup. Um, and yeah, so... That's crazy, and now with Overdrive, that means we have about 310% altogether damage output when we fly and the Overdrive is running. Look how we do this. Boom, boom, boom. Guy goes down instantly, right? Taking a few shots for uh, for this Ares right there. Unfortunately, the bomb explosion hasn't triggered, so that part. But he seems to be AFK, the dude, right? So I guess we're going to get another chance for that. Um... Yep, what's coming here? Oh, hello, hello, what is that? A tier robot. It's a full tier robot correction. It was a tier robot, and that guy? Bye! Now you see there's a scorpion coming my way, and that's a problem, because I just ran my ability, he's getting closer, 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 and now he caught me. And now he's gonna teleport on me and kill me. All it takes is one guy to be committed to killing me, and that is it. Because I'm not running face shift, I'm not running last stand, I'm not running any of this meta stuff. I am running maximum damage only, which there is no fail safe. As soon as some uh, like freaking frickin scorpion comes at you, that's it. You're done. Nothing that stalls time, nothing that will give you a second chance. It's just death time for you. But the fun thing is, if you don't get jumped on by scorpions and you can live long enough to make use of the overdrive, then you can really have a ton of fun with that. And that's kind of what, what I'm doing here, what I'm trying to do. This guy has a couple of weapons that he wants. He should shoot me with. I want to get down to overdrive. There it is. Overdrive is now running. And uh, without the added damage from the drone, I'm simply just killing him with the overdrive. And you see how quickly he went down. Like, no problem. And by the way, of course, if you like this ch uh, this content, ladies and gentlemen, you want to see more of it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And uh, also, uh, you know, like the video up. Give it a thumbs up if you, if you do like it, right? If you didn't like it, then obviously don't. Right? I don't wanna want you guys to be um, <laughs> dishonest with that, only when you really enjoy the video too. Um, but I thought that, th that the topic and theme of a stealth bomber is a very interesting concept that I wanted to make a video of. So here we saw Nightingale landing right on us. I'm activating now double damage, it's triple damage now with overdrive. So he's literally receiving 300% damage at this very moment, but I have to reload. Uh, but Bomb Explosion triggered him down to last stand, and before he can start to fly again, I got him. Right. I got him already two or three times now, or maybe four times, I don't know. Now he's coming in with a Hawk, and uh, he would co come and kill me immediately if he gets the chance. He's gonna prove that right here. He's pretty mad at me for uh, taking him down. And then, of course, that's a meta player. You know that, because there's face shift, there's last stand, it's all, it's, it's all, way, all there, right? There's enough opportunities and ways to stall time to survive any incoming attack, despite being a, uh, if it's a scorpion or my stealth bomber, doesn't matter. Simply face shift and all the danger and all the threats are over. And then an easy win is what follows due to the last stand afterwards, so no, no brainer, easy win for him in this case. Uh, but yeah, if I would see somebody without face shift, without last stand, with so without the top-notch meta, meta setups, then uh, the overdrive version that I'm running here is able to take them down very quickly. Uh, so let's jump into the next match. 250,000 HP. That's a leech right there, and he hasn't yet started his leech ability, and that was a mistake, because wow, did he go down fast. Dude, did he go down fast. Here is a... Okay, can I trigger the bump effect on him? Ah, unfortunately not. And I got locked, and that was a problem. However... While I'm taking a lot of damage now, very quickly, I am actually able to survive with overdrive now and then heal back some of that damage. And that's why I'm able to, for the rest of this match now, without having lost a weapon, thankfully, kill this guy with a bomb explosion. Can I? Huh? 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 Ah. Okay, somebody else got the kill. Whatever. Oh, God, we have a scorpion on us. 
And uh, now I took even more damage, but again, thankfully, I was lucky enough not to lose my weapons here. So now I'm better retreating because boom, bump explosion kill. From this moment on, ladies and gents, it's death time for the enemy. I have very low amount of HP, but I do maximum damage. And this is where I, what I like about the overdrive is that um, it doesn't do you any good if you don't have low HP, but if you do have it and you didn't lose a weapon, which unfortunately doesn't happen all too often, um, then you can make so much out of this. Uh-oh, I'm stuck and I don't want this scorpion to come close to me. So retreating back and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cutting forward to the moment when he jumped on someone from my team and boop. That's it! I still got him with the bump effect. Dude, he teleported back and the bump, he took the bump effect with him. Boosh! And he got, is gone. If he teleported back to his allies, he would have actually taken a tremendous amount of damage into the enemy, into his own team too. Here, I just depleted two guys down to last stand in this one bombing run salvo with my stealth bomber uh, because of the bomb explosion up there. Now we have the Yan Di legendary pilot. That means the other in, uh, guy is not a problem right there, right? With his stealth Aochun. And uh, for those who don't know, the new robot Orochi, right? It's a brand new robot being tested on a test server right now. It looks a lot like an Aochun, but it doesn't fly. It skates very fast on the ground or runs fast on the ground, but also with stealth. And it has also two heavy weapons. Um, and this thing will be very powerful. It will be a very interesting meta machine, but... The Ao Chun with the legendary pilot Yan Di that has the uh, the the thing that looks that can see um, people's uh, stealth that will be very important then right so it's gonna basically be a buff for this Ao Chun and I believe once you see more Orochis in the game you will immediately start seeing more Ao Chuns in the game as well with the legendary pilot. Uh, due to that counter stealth, right? It's an incredibly important uh, thing. We have seen it back in the days too with many Aochuns, countering many Aochuns in the air. And we still see that today. Uh, but that um, that Orochi is gonna have a problem with these, uh, with these guys here. So starting to fly up, there's the Fenrir again taking him down with a bump effect. Whoosh! And oh, I saw my next target. Do you see him? <laughs> Alright, get ourselves ready guys for the next stealth bomber run, all right? We're going for Genovo right there with his um, uh, with his behemoth. Let me see if I can hit this guy first. Ah, uh, he teleported somewhere, all right. So, let's go in for the behemoth. I think we're doing this very, ru ru do this is post commentary. I cut this gameplay together and afterwards I'm doing the commentary, right? So I remember things, but I don't know when exactly I'm gonna attack him, but I know I will attack him any moment now. Now it is, I think now I'm walking towards him. Behemoth, full HP, all right? Here we go. Triple damage activated. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, and he's even quantum radaring back. And before I fly back in safety, I give him the last bomb and he dies from the explosion. Dude, that was awesome. An entire behemoth in with last stand taken down uh, by this one stealth bomber run. All right, sure, Shurik. Uh, okay, what is that? A scorpion? Is it a, a phantom? Is it? Oh, it's something with stealth for sure. Oh yeah, it is. It is a scorpion, and he's trying to make his way to the to safety to the left. And I'm like, no man, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it, and he doesn't make it. Oh, Aochun. No, uh, what's it called here? Um, Nightingale. Uh, and then since I have the uh, ability to counter his stealth, I'm hitting him in midair, and then I notice that somebody else is using uh, quantum radar on. Uh, on the, I'm <laughs> sorry, on the hawk, and therefore I decided to land premature. I triggered the premature landing so I get into safety. And now, thanks to that, I can, with still both weapons active, fire in the middle of all those people and do massive bomb splash on there, on all those guys, right? Starting to fly again up here, trying to finish off the, um, uh, what's it called, a hawk, and then going for, uh, for the titan. And wow, did that flamethrower do a lot of damage. Jeez, you saw his HP go... I'm often surprised to see how much damage the flamethrowers from the Aochun can do. It's so crazy, right? It's almost like three em embers hitting hitting the enemy at the same time. There was a time when I thought it was like, okay, maybe one ember, but that thing is so much more powerful now. I get the feeling that it's like at least two embers firing at the enemy too with the flames. And those Arthurs, they really notice that damage. I don't know why, but I'm incredibly lucky here with not losing my weapons. You see that? I'm still having both weapons on the bot. 
That is a rare thing to see. That's not normal. Normally, I lose my weapons at 30% immediately. And in this case, yeah, I get to actually carry on with both weapons till the end of the match. I take down the Titan and then I make a quick U-turn in the end and make a safety landing. Uh, it was a close one, but it worked. And uh, yeah, so we're still here. I can't believe I'm still here with both weapons. Such a long match. Uh oh, he started uh, reflecting damage. I waited for it and stopped firing. Now this guy is going down and now comes my death. I'm making one mistake here. I th Look, I would be perfectly landing here on the lower, lower spot of the bridge. That was my plan. However, I got stuck here at the corner and that's killed me. I almost made it. I almost made it, but almost isn't good enough and I died. So. This, by the way, is going to become a separate video. Uh, so the new Ox Minos Titan with a new Lunar Squall, uh, you know, flattening everyone. Uh, there will be a full video coming up where I give you an awesome compilation of my best moments with this. But here we did 3.75 million damage with the Stealth Bomber. All right. So let's jump into one more match on, uh, on one of my favorite maps, Valley. It's actually... I think this is actually my favorite. Valley and Power Plant. Those who know me for a while now, they know that Valley and Power Plant are actually my favorite maps in the game by far. And then also, I like Factory a lot. Unfortunately, Factory isn't in the game just yet, but I liked Factory a lot because of the, um, the, the acid or lava or whatever it is that allows you to drop your HP down to last uh, to overdrive level, right? This is something that I benefit from a lot because I enjoy running uh, overdrive. I'm not, the, as I said, I'm not the type of player who needs to run the top meta stuff with um, with the, uh, with double phase shift and last stand and making it impossible for enemies to kill you before you get another ability run. I'm okay with just having none of those defensive movements, but in return getting more damage output, if it works, that is, right? That's my style. Uh, and uh, it's a playstyle that can be very frustrating from time to time because you often get killed in the process of trying to get use out of your overdrives. But uh, when it works, it's all the more fun in my opinion. And uh, yeah, how did I get to this now? I forgot. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, let's keep on going. There's a... Whoa, whoa there's a, a Fenrir who shot me. Yeah, this guy. That Fenrir is quite ready for me. Oh, no, I remember this. I made a mistake. I, st I, I, <laughs> I activated my... Um, my stealth too late and he's already ready look he's getting hit from behind and yet he's like ah, I don't care I'm gonna aim at that dude, but it's okay because my flamethrower is still ready for him dealing tons of damage So uh, I still took him down like a like a without a problem But I lost a weapon in the process and this is why I rather jump into a fresh out on here with Both weapons ready right and I'm fully recharged now after spawning that means I can immediately start doing full damage to this guy He's gonna instantly stealth jump. He looked at me one second, immediately stealth jump, man. Wow. Why? So afraid of a couple of rockets, huh? So here you go. Bam, 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 bam. And after all that, you're still taking damage. But let me first drop this guy to last stand. It's the scorpion from before. Meanwhile, the uh, Inquisitor got snacked. Again, here, uh, in case you didn't know, these new weapons actually bypass energy shields. Uh, this shell robot down there has one and it's getting bypassed completely, which is weird. It's just very weird in my opinion because those, sh yeah, those should be, um, you know, the, they should be blocked by, uh, rockets should be blocked by, by shields, but those are considered flames, flame, like, like flamethrower, also from the Auchon and stuff, bypasses blue energy shields completely. It's a bit of an awkward thing, but apparently that's intended. So this guy teleported back and unfortunately I can't hit him there. I tried to splash him a little, but didn't really work. Okay, so time to wrap this video up with a couple of nice kills here at the end. A tier robot getting a nice jump, nice explosion, starting to fly in a second. I want overdrive to activate first though. I need my overdrive to run and then I start to fly. Right here, now I'm running with double, triple damage right now and therefore I can kill this this um, tier robot near instantly with this much firepower. Still alive. Coming up for an attack run on the Ao Ming up there. Doing a bit of damage to him and then landing in safety. All right, two more minutes or one and a half and the video is over. Starting to fly here. Triple damage on the Ao Ming. Look how fast he now goes down. Look at this. 
with a flamethrower. It's insane. Jeez. He died so fast. Out of control. And here we have an enemy Aochun. Let's see who's gonna win. Me with low HP or him with full HP. Although we don't know the level of equipment. But here I'm activating triple damage. And uh, he goes down like immediately. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna start to fly here because I want to hurt that, uh, that Typhon robot as long as his shield is gone. And bring him down to last stand. Unfortunately, it hasn't quite worked. I didn't quite get him to last stand. His shield pops up too fast. And then we're jumping into uh, just a few seconds of, um, of uh, Minos Titan here. Um, yep, got this guy down to last stand. My reflector is going. I'm finishing off this guy here real quick. Boom, boom. All right. Meanwhile, I have four people or five people on me. So, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But I'm running left and right, dodging their firepower a little bit, making them stand behind each other. And then I get to use another reflector here. Uh, but the match ends before I can even make use of, of the full reflector. Or actually, wait, the reflector is now gone. Titan Slayer. Nice. Yeah, so that was a good run here with this Minos. And again, there will be a full video just focusing on this particular setup coming also that's why i think you should stay tuned for the upcoming videos guys warabots has stopped working wonderful that's why i can't show you the stats on the last one but thanks for watching guys have a good one manny signing off bye bye